Wow, this question looks interesting to solve. Here, given to us is a right angle triangle with a in circle inside it. This green line segment, these are tangent to the circle and perpendicular to the base. Exciting part is with this limited data, we have to find value of angle X. Well, this solution is one of those solutions which makes you fall in love with geometry. Let's check the solution here. Let's assume the radius of the circle is R centimeter. Radius is perpendicular to tangent, so this angle is 90. Same way, these are your point of tangencies here. So let's draw this radius each of R centimeter and each one is perpendicular to the tangent. If you look at this figure carefully, it has got three angles of 90. So fourth will also be of 90 degree. So it's basically a rectangle, but adjacent sides are equal. So it's a square. Same goes for this figure. It's a square and this figure is also a square. Let's draw the diagonals of this square. That is we are drawing BO here, OC and OA. As the squares are congruent to each other, each of side R centimeter, so their diagonal length will also be equal or we can say point A, B, C are equidistant from point O. So with O as a center, we can draw a circle passing through A, B, C. Now we also know in a square the diagonal makes an angle of 45 degree with the side so this angle is 45 degree same goes this angle here is 45 degrees now here with respect to this big purple circle we'll apply inscribed angle theorem that is this chord bc is making an angle of 90 degree at the center and by theorem it will make half of that angle at the circumference that means this angle X here is half of 90 or 45 degree and that's our answer. I hope you enjoyed the solution. I will see you in next video. Till then, tata. Bye bye.